Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good to see you. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 172. Jesus Christ is risen today. Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. Let's stop and lower that a bit. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave? Alleluia. Suffer to redeem and save. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. As we come to celebrate the Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle, we call to mind the times that we've been weak in our faith and ask God to help us to grow stronger in our faith. Lord Jesus, you come to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may also be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Christ Jesus, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as Lord and God, who lives and reigns forever and ever in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the holy ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out, out to, to all, all the world, world and, and tell, tell the, the good, good news. news. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in Thomas because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen but still believe. Alleluia. That the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthy and fitting proclaim His holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, 
was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the do doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Over the years, I've often thought that Mary Magdalene and, Tom and St. Thomas got a bum rap. Uh, Mary Magdalene, the Gospels do say that Jesus drove seven demons out of her. So some people conclude that she was a terrible, terrible sinner. We have no ex idea exactly what that meant. But in any case, whatever she was, she became a faithful follower of Jesus and one of the few people who uh, stood at the foot of the cross and was there to the very end. And as a result, she was one of the first ones at the tomb and the first one to whom Jesus appeared. And it was to her that Jesus said, go out and tell the apostles that you've seen the Lord and they'll see me in, in Galilee. So in the end, she was given that great privilege of being the first to see the risen Lord and proclaim his resurrection to others. Thomas has been dubbed as the Doubting Thomas, and that's really a bum rap too. If any of us would have been in this situation, we would have said exactly the same thing. If you entered the funeral of a loved one, and a week later people are going around saying, he or she is still alive, uh, we would wonder about them too and question them and think they're out of their mind. And so Thomas uh, said, you know, I'm hearing all these reports, I won't believe it until I can see him till I can put my finger in the nail marks, put my hand on the side. So a week later, Jesus appeared and he called Thomas forward and said, you know, put your finger in my nail marks, put your hand on my side and, uh, and believe. Um, and then he does say, blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. I remember as a kid, way back in grade school, I did pay attention to these readings and because we repeated them year after year, I pretty well knew them by heart by the time I was in the eighth grade, but I often stood up pretty tall when I heard Jesus saying, blessed are those who have not seen but believe. And I was one of those guys who believed even though I hadn't seen the risen Lord. But I realized uh, again, that really wasn't exactly fair. And there are many times the way I live my life, it shows that I really don't believe. And so I can learn a lesson from Thomas. And Thomas, of all the apostles, made the greatest profession of faith when he saw the risen Lord and proclaimed, my Lord and my God. Um, he is the first to truly recognize Jesus as, as God present among us. But so often we think of him as the doubting Thomas. I think we all owe him an apology when we meet him one day in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, but the important thing for all of us is if we really believe that Jesus rose from the dead, then we have to proclaim his presence to others by what we say and what we do. I think we try to do a pretty good a God, a job of proclaiming Jesus as the risen Lord by what we do, but so often we're so reticent to say and talk about him. And that's the area where we can learn from Thomas uh, that we go out like he did after he saw the risen Lord and proclaim his presence to others. Uh, and that's what we need to do too. We, we profess our faith here in church. We need to go out and tell others about the risen Lord. So today, as we celebrate his feast, we ask him to help us to, to go out and do that. Be men and women of courage, talking about our faith with others and sharing it openly with them and drawing others closer to him. 
So with that in mind, let us stand and pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, as we honor St. Thomas the Apostle today, help us to imitate his example of proclaiming your presence and the presence of your Son to others by our words and by our deeds. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. To our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, and all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that as we pray, may go in our faith and love for Jesus, present in Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young men and women will, who will consider responding to God's call to the priesthood of religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the innocent victims of the war in Gaza and in Israel and Russia and Ukraine, that peace may soon come to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all whose homes have been damaged or destroyed by tornadoes, floods, or fires as they strive to recover, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for thanksgiving to God for the rains we have received and continued favorable weather throughout the growing season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any of our unspoken needs and intention, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling during this holiday season, that they will reach their destinations, return to their homes safely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass this morning for Louis M. Swoboda. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all of our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We render you, Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring that you keep us safe with your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm in the apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity 
uh, your heavenly teaching, therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you our, with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly, uh, for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and for all those who hold unto the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, whether they offer it for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls the hope of, of health and well-being, and pay to homage you, their eternal God and, and living God. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Lord Jesus Christ, with St. Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, and Andrew, James, John, Thomas, Philip, Son, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Clatus, Clensus, Sextus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Cos Lawrence, Cosmos, and Damian, uh, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Isidore, and all your saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the salvation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count them in the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased to God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands with eyes raised to heaven, you God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks and praise, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection to the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we are servants and your holy people Offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, 
Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants are those sinners who hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some fellowship with your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Isidore, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon to Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. See on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. <clears throat> the body of Christ. Christ. 
Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are ready there, and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Communion hymn is number 179, At the Lamb's High Feast. <clears throat> At the Lamb's High Feast we sing praise to our victorious King. He has washed us in the tide, flowing from his open side. Praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheets his sword. Israel's hope triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed, paschal victim, paschal bread. With sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. Easter triumph, Easter joy, sin alone can this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free, souls newborn, O Lord, in thee. Hymns of glory, blood was shed. And to you we raise, risen Lord, all praise to thee. With the Spirit ever be. Let us pray. O oh God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our way of life, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please join together in praying for the successful completion of our prairie center. Loving Father, we come to you in adoration. You have bestowed in your church community the gift to openly worship and praise your name. 
We humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve with all our gifts and talents. Spirit, as we gather in prayer to build a faithful prairie center for all generations. Most sacred hearted Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 393, the Servant Song. <coughs> what do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song. Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are the way. I hear you call my name, Lord, and I am moved within me. Your spirit stirs my deepest self. Sing your songs in me, Jesus, Jesus, you are my Lord, Jesus, Jesus, you are the way. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.